What lurks on the other side? Are there any dudes up in here still? I think we may have cleared them all out. Yeah, look, we're on top of the entrance area. Okay. Ultimate healing. Potatoes. Yum, yum, yum. Anything else? Beautiful candle lighting. Okay. Oh, shit. I don't think we've been over here. Holy hell, how far does this go? That goes outside. Okay. Maybe if we go outside, we'll get um, our friends on us again. Let's try that. Oh, shit! Oh! I'll kill you! Yeah. Fuck you! You know what we need? This! Oh, ah. I missed! When we had last left the last Dragonborn, they had begun the march to Markarth, in which they would travel all the way from the center of Skyrim land to the furthest reaches to the west, to Markarth, of course. And along the way, did they encounter fun mammoths doing a weird sort of sky dance in which they flew several stories up into the sky. What was a story in, in Skyrim? Why it was in a book? Do That's about it. <laughs> there was also a weird purple tree that emitted some sort of cool sap and a secret missive held within the cave nearby. But that missive and its quests would all have to wait for later, for the Dragonborn arrived at Rorikstead, where they took a quick nap and were ready to continue tearing ass further toward Markarth. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Let's whoop, tear some ass. I'm ready to tear some ass. <laughs> Let's get out of here. There we are. Good, good, good. And I did rest up. Because I thought, you know what? Let's play it safe. Let's be careful. What's the worst that could happen? We're probably... Since we had just killed the dragon, right? The dragon timer, we've still got plenty of room on it, right? So we should be A-OK. -okay. Should be good to go. Do you get worse dragons than ancient ones, though, don't you? I think dragons cap out at level 80, thanks to the Dragonborn expansion, I think so? Or DLC? Do you call them expansions still? I think in, in Skyrim lane, you just say DLC, right? Keep it simple. Let's see, make sure we are heading the correct direction. We should probably also remove this. So, are we dead set on, like, rolling up over to Karth Waston and then down to Markarth? I think that's probably the maneuver, right? So let's do that. Is this down here? That's Forsworn Country! There we are. Beautiful. There's also some little nice quaint house up here. On the left. Beautiful, I love it. There's some little flutterby butterflies. Can we even hold them though? Oh yeah, my level. I gained a I put some points in Stam and I got Corpus potions or whatever it's called. Corpus enhancement. Not Corpus. Wait, is it Corpus? Nonetheless, we we now have um enchanting will give us now 25% more bang for our buck when it comes to putting stam health and magicka on our equipment right we're continually working our way up and building toward getting double down enchantments right which is such an enormous boon for us right that's going to do so much for our character wow look at this look at this we have just rounded this and now oh my gosh it's like a whole other world over here oh my god what We've been here. <laughs> do I, do I want to go down there? Where is there another road I can take? Fuck it, let's follow the road. Maybe we'll see a sign. Oh, there's someone over here. Oh, it's banditos. Okay. Let's rumble, dude. Get some shielding. Great. What's up, dude? Oh shit, Barbus in with a super lunge attack. Nothing. There you are. Just stop running so I can stab you in the back. Good. Great. All right. Wonderful. Let's check him real quick for woot loot in case we lose him. Butter! This guy was carrying around a bunch of butter. <laughs> That's our first time finding butter, huh? Man, we need that for our, like, mud crab legs and clam, right? 
Let's eat the baked potatoes and drink the mead. All right, here we are. Oh, you know what? We need to blast them, don't we? Yeah, let's get some blasting going on here. Let's see. Get a little bit of blasting levels, right? Let's try, what's our, what's our ideal unit here to cast? Hmm. Probably lightning bolt, right? There we are. Let's keep casting these. Maybe get a level or something. Oh shit, oh my god. Woo! <laughs> Love it. What do you have? More butter. These are the butter bandits. Oh my gosh, they were about to steal all of my butter, but I don't have any. They would have to milk me. Oh look, another one of the butter bandits over yonder. Look, he's such a rough shot. All I have to do is a simple serpentine maneuver and he can't even hit me. What a fool. Rip your heart out. There we are. Let's get your friend as well. Oh shit, no I can't. I lied. Let's just flame on. There you go. Is this guy a Breton? Because he's balding? <laughs> is that for real, like, the rule of thumb? If a character is bald or balding, odds are they are a Breton. Is that really what we need to go by now? Surely not. <laughs> Surely not. <laughs> oh! Oh! Jeez. Violence comes with me. Alright. Let's consume these as well. Lockpick. Beautiful. Oh, look, they were hauling ass with this. Whoa! Nice little bunch of shit. Alright, cool. Now here's our super cool secret sign. This way to Markarth. This way to Solitude. Jeez, what fools we are to not travel this way. <laughs> How tempting it is to travel along this road. Look at this gorgeous view. Look at it. Oh my god, it's immaculate. But instead, we're heading toward this remarkably less gorgeous view. <laughs> There's literally a massive waterfall over there. Multi-tiered and everything. Oh, it's beautiful. But alas, we have been over there. Can we see Solitude? I think we can. I think that's just it right over by my crosshair. Huh. Wild. Alright. Let's check this bod. Anything good on you? Nah. Fair enough. Good, good, good. Let's continue our Markarth march. All the way over yonder. Oh, who is this? Tell me this is not Maik. Is this Maik? Maik, is that you? Is that you, Mike? The people oh, you of fuck. Skyrim are more open-minded about certain things than people in other places. Mm. Mike has heard it is dangerous to be your friend. Oh, really? That's true. Yeah, two of my friends, I guess, because I did their quests. The two NPCs that Maik died knows were my why friends. Farmer are blind. Oh. It has nothing to do with the Dwemer disappearing, really. Oh, wow. They were all just too busy jacking off. Mike is tired now. Go bother somebody else. Sounds good. Okay, see you, Maik. <laughs> Just general mistrust. <laughs> he's he's heard me say that I want him dead. He knows. <laughs> All right, let's go and run over here. Good lord. You can't kill him, can you? If you kill Maik, he'll just keep appearing, right? He has some sort of otherworldly power, right? Or can you? If you do kill him, he stops appearing? No. I think he's invincible, or, or maybe not invincible, but if you kill him, he just continues to come back. He's some sort of powerful necromancer able to sustain his body and will over time immemorial. Really giving uh, Devaith Fear a run for his money. There we are. Cool, cool, cool. Take some of these, some of that. Look at this, we're just getting all sorts of little goodies out here. Oh look, the telltale sign of some ancient fucking ruins. Ooh. And here they are. Well, this is an imperial fortress, right? The likes of which we had seen long ago in the land of Cyrodiil land. Some iron ore here as well. We should give it a quick pick. There we are. Good, good, good. Oh, shit. Actually, quite a bit in there, huh? Alright. Wonderful. Do a quick save in case we get blasted up here. Hopefully this is not like a den of necromancers or something. Oh, look. What is that right there? Oh, it's the Forsworn! Okay. 
Let's see. Let's get Dre out here. Still got him on five. Boom! Get him, Dre. Okay, can I shield up or do I not have enough juice? Nope, I don't. Here we are. Let's get him from the rear. There we are. Here's a question. Do my power attacks with my shield, my power bash, does that also stack with... Oh, Ilya, did you just draw his ire? Oh, you did. Ilya, this is not the time to be drawing Dre's ire. Broken Tower of Redoubt discovered. All right. Should we take the headdress? It's quite valuable. Yes, let's do it. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no! I shouldn't have done it! Let's drop it immediately. If we really want, we can come back for it. Dre, stop it! Stop it, Dre! Damn you. All right. Let's head on over here by their weird roots. Should we enter this shit? Fuck it. Let's go in. Let's have a fucking adventure and a half. Broken Tower of Redoubt. There we are. Look. Perhaps he's calmed down a bit. He smells some weakness. He's coming for it. He's angry. Get him, Dre. Get him. He's only smelling. Gosh, you're worse than Barbus. <laughs> he can only smell things. All right. Get him again. All right. Let's see. Let's go over here. We have yet to be struck by them. But I'm, I'm very afraid of it. We Yo, you chopped her head fucking off, dude. Holy fuck. What a force of nature here. All right. Turn the lights on in case there's traps aplenty. There we are. Because I can't do, like, movement while blocking, right? Or while power bashing. No. There we go. Let's also eat some yum yum here. Let's see. Let's get a little bit of this yum yum. Good. There we are. Wonderful. <laughs> what a guy. Okay. Let's see. What have they got up and around here? Should we check this lower level first? I think so. So we came in through this doorway, huh? Yeah. Look, they got a creepy goat, some flesh or whatever, just stretched all over the place. Oh, fuck. All right. Bad times. Let's see. Big ass antlers, some pony kegs. Oh, a fun hat. A spriggan's face. That's a little fucked up and weird, huh? Right? I mean, they're living creatures just as well. Look, I could take your face and head. Let's see. Let's turn this light on. There we are. A big old loot. Where's this go to? Oh, it's locked. Okay. I have no clue where Barbus and Ilya have fucked off to, but hey. Oh, look. This is their booze room. Oh, weird. Okay. I'll eat all their potatoes, I guess. Why not? Top myself off. Get too well-fed or whatever. Carrots as well. Neat. A little chest here filled with... Ooh, some goodies. A whole bunch of birds and rabbits strung up. Don't really have room for them, though. Okay. Let's check the other side. There's probably something over there just as well, right? How about over here real quick? Nah, nothing. Nothing, nothing. All right. And then... That's the door we came through, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. How about this? Oh, it's collapsed and shit. Okay. Right. These, so these are, in fact, meant to be, like, Imperial Army ruins or whatever, right? Imperial Legion ruins. The likes of which we saw in Cyrodiil for realsies, right? There were so many. They look quite similar from the exterior, too, right? All right. Let's see here. Should we drop this big snooter? I think so. There we are. Let's head on up top. I like that they have the spikes there, in case anyone decide that they would climb up the wall rather than use the stairs. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing with that? Why, why would you do that? Alright, should we go over here or over here? This seems like a better bet. I'm not sure why, but it sure feels that way. Keeping a keen eye out for any wretched, cretinous traps. Oh, shit! 
A sexy statue. Oh, it's mine now. Cabbages. I'll take them. All right. Let's head on over this way. Through all this fun. Some more spikes. Feet. <laughs> Feet and hands are just here? <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, the Force Warren are real fucked up. This is our first encounter with them? Look! Just a bunch of feet everywhere! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Alright, great. Oh, look, there. A cretinous trap, just as we had predicted. Can I throw a foot at it? Let's see. Oh no, I can't lift it. Oh shit. Oh shit! There we go. She's not too bad. Boom! Oh, fuck. Alright, she's pretty bad. Oh. Who got her? Holy shit, man. Ho, ho, ho. Alright. I don't know why I did the whole Santa Claus thing, but... <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> oh, shit. Would be really great if Ilya showed up right about now, but hey. Maybe she will not. Let's see. What can we get rid of? I guess we could get rid of, like, the iron ore. It's nice, but it's it's not very important, right? Okay. Barrel filled with apples. There's a little super switch down there. Take that. A salmon steak. Good. Oh, shit. Look, there are a bunch of these traps. Okay. Oh, and they were about to hide it under some, like, beautiful tapestry carpet unit. Okay. Let's see. Well, do they both both activate the same fucking thing? I don't know. Here, can I telekinesis this? I probably can, but you know what? I should probably reserve the magicka just as well. Oh, jeez, yep, it works. There it is. Yep. Look at that. The old bucket trick. Okay. Well, let's keep the regen flowing, right? Hello? Anybody home? Look, they were digging with shovels. What were they digging for? Just clearing out the place? Alright. Let's see, what's in here? Miner's boots. A novice chest. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> A draft of resist magic. Hmm. Whole bunch of shit in here. Bread, bowl. It's a bread bowl. Damn. We in the Panera now. I'm sorry. <laughs> the mirror. We have read this before, but in this game? Apparently so. A strong box. Okay. Cool shit. Fuck, dude. We are getting so encumbered. It's bad. Wine. Large sack, large sack. Cabbage in the sack. Let's see. Can I ditch anything around here? Fucking A, man. We got so much shit on us. Oh, man. I should have never picked up all those amazing items. What a fool I was. Let's eat some leeks. We'll eat our way down to five. Gold, silk. Man, look at this. There's so much money here. Jeez. All right. Good God. If we if we do a rest here for an hour... Where, will Ilya show up? No, she will not. Fuck. Where could she be? Alright, what can we get rid of? This skeever hide. Right? Look, this is heavy as hell. A giant's toe. No, I can't let go of that. Alright, there we go. That'll have to do. Some charred skeever's hide. Okay. Let's see. Let's turn on our lights in case there is a terrible trap around here ready to be sprung upon me a wooden door okay and this is the section we came through all right good so let's pop this what lurks on the other side are there any dudes up in here still i think we may have cleared them all out yeah look we're on top of the entrance area okay ultimate healing potatoes yum 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 anything else Beautiful candle lighting. Okay. Oh, shit. I don't think we've been over here. 
Holy hell, how far does this go? That goes outside. Okay, maybe if we go outside, we'll get um, our friends on us again. Let's try that. Oh shit! Oh! I'll kill you! Yeah. Fuck you! You know what we need? This! Ah, I missed! Shit! <laughs> Fuck! Oh. <laughs> yeah! Ilya Barbus, that's me up here! Screaming and saying, oh shit! Any second you all want to come up! Oh, thank God she just has a dagger and not like some sort of powerful armor-piercing blaster. Oh shit, you two? Oh shit, he's, she's got some power. Huh! Huh! <laughs> it was very intimidating. All right, there we go. No good when time slows down like that. Okay. Oh, please, please, fuck off. <laughs> Let's drink a potion of Stan, right? Minor Stan. That was terrible. Moderate Stan. There we go. Good. Cool. Did I hit her? Did I stagger her? What's going on? What the fuck's going on there? <laughs> Alright, good. I can hear Ilya down there making people pay. Let's see. Ilya! What are you doing? You're fighting Barbus! Ilya, be at peace! Be at peace, Ilya! You're fighting Barbus! You're gonna. Can she kill Barbus? Can Barbus kill her? Wow, who knows? Things have really gone awry here at Forsworn Tower, or whatever this place is called. Jeez. Alright, if we go inside, because since they're so close, look, if I do it from over here, will that whoosh them inside? It has done nothing. <laughs> Alright. Oh? No, nope, I'm hearing things. Okay. I'm losing my fucking mind here, dude. Going over this way. Let's check this other door. Where did this go? Was just this just a door door? No, it's a Skyrim door. Okay. So let's go back out this one then. Look, the combat music has faded. That is a good sign. This is some of the trouble with Ilya's AoE blast. She just keeps pissing everybody off with it. <laughs> Cause she kinda doesn't give a shit. She thinks there's no friendly fire, but there totally is. Alright. There's some terrible bastard up top there. Let's see. Oh, and this is probably where the other door leads, right? Okay. Oh, they got a fun little yurt here or whatever. Okay. An empty pot? Anything else? In your large sack? Four green apples. Yum yum. A dwarven axe. Boots. Three identical iron swords. And an iron war axe. They must have been leveling their blacksmithing. Okay. Let's see, is there anywhere else I can navigate from here? I don't think so. I think our best bet is to just go back inside and maneuver around from here, right? Yeah, this is totally the other unit. Okay, let's go back out because it's I think it's actually a bit of a quicker run by doing this. <laughs> that force worn up there can hear us like, huh? Huh? What's going on? What's going on? Found you. Did you? Did you find me? I don't know. Let's turn this on. Get some more light. Great. Okay. So this is the direction we have not gone. Yeah, there's some like weird spine or whatever. Holy shit, what the fuck's going on? Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck's going on? This place is fucked up! Jeez, shit's falling all over the place. There's magic flying through the wall. Oh shit. Alright. Get him, Dre! There we are. Good, good, good. <laughs> that was easy. All right. What have you got? Garnet, horker meat. Ooh, this has already been roasted. Let's munch on that. Okay. Anything here? We'll we'll just assume that Dre is taking care of it. Oh god, I'm about to eat shit. Whew. Nope. Definitely avoided. Let's throw this on top of here. Good. Feel good about that. Look at this. She's blasting everything. Oh, God. All right. Let's go on up here. Knock ya. Good, 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 good. All right. See. Oh, there we go. 
knock you into the barrels. Look, you're doing flips and shit, climbing on top of them. Now you okay. No, I'm not. There we go. That's right, I'm with the Thieves Guild, I never pay! <laughs> you like that? That's good. Alright. Whoa, she had a demon's heart! Oh my god! Do we have a quest yet for that, or should I just eat it? Oh, I don't have- oh my god, he really went flying! <laughs> Jeez, Dre, was this your heart? Gosh, you didn't like it when I did that, huh? Okay. Let's see, anything else over here? Some garlic? Mmm, bunch of barrels filled with cabbages. I guess I'll eat them. Easy to eat right out of the barrel. Let's heal up a bit. There we are. Ooh, restoration of 59. Yo, I'll take it. Oh, look, here are the rocks. Oh, this must have been some sort of rock trap that they had activated on themselves. I feel like every time a trap is sprung, there's like a 25% chance, or maybe a 33.33% repeating, of course, chance that it's being sprung on an enemy. <laughs> right? I feel like we have hardly well okay i'm not i'm not gonna go that far i'm not gonna go as far as to say we've hardly been hit by any traps because that is a complete fabrication that's just not real that didn't happen we've been hit by a lot of traps <laughs> but i feel like you know what the enemies have taken their fair share of hits let's see should i eat some of this tomato soup i think so well it's very good actually maybe we should hold off for now it's too good it's too good to use I should probably drop some sort of wild-ass ingredient. But what should I drop? Taproot? Oh, I should eat this. Mmm, yeah. weakness to Magicka. <laughs> My favorite flavor. What else is in here? Whoa! This place is filled with magical wonder! Alright. Shit. <laughs> this is so bad, man. Okay. Is there anything else here that I don't know the secrets of? <gasps> the demon's heart. I will feast upon it. Restore health. Mmm. Okay. Frost salts. Should I eat them? Hell fucking yes. I'm eating them. Weakness to fire. I don't give a shit. What else have I not eaten yet? Is there anything? Vamp dust. Void salts. Will I get sanguine... Sanguine... Hibiscus? If I eat vamp dust? If I eat a dead vampire? Invisibility. I didn't- I don't think I contracted it. Void salts. Okay. Ah! Cool! Hey! Nice! Weird that void salts makes you, uh, weak to... Uh, what do you call it? To... Electric, right? That's a little bizarre. Oh shit, I'm a fool. Look at this, I've done it again. I cannot be stopped. Let's just drop a shitload of salt, I guess. Ilya's already carrying around fuckloads of it, right? It's fine, I'm sure. Alright. Let's turn the lights on here. In case there's another weird trap that we must avoid. I really didn't contract vampirism, did I? Yeah, we're fine. I guess it's because there's no... There's no, like, quadriary... Uh, element, right? Your best bet is, like, nature or something, which is be just become poison, right? There needs to be something that is the opposite of lightning. And every Pokemon trainer knows that that is rocks. Rocks are the opposite of lightning. Despite the fact that every lightning lord has big rocks going on. Get him, Dre. Get him. Fucking get him. There we go. Oh, yes! That's what I'm talking about! No match at all! I know, Dre! I fucking know, dude! So fucking good. <laughs> Where is even the body? Oh my god, did the body land even- not even on one of these lower tiers? Did we hit, like, a hole in one? Did it fall all the way down there? Into the- into the street? Jesus. Where's Illy at? Where is- where's Barbus at to see my amazing shit? All right. Ooh, look at this little skeever's head. Nasty. Anything else around here before we head into this maneuver here? Oh, you know what? Ilya's not here, but guess who is? Guess who is? 
<laughs> See you, Dre! Boom! <laughs> Look, there's Barbus. Wow, it killed him! It killed him, or did he despawn? I don't know. I'm going to assume it killed him. I don't think that was the case. I think it actually, he did despawn. But I'm, he died. I killed him. Look, Barbus is so happy about it. Oh my god. Barbus! <laughs> Barbus! Can, are you immune to this? Oh, Barbus, you look like such a cute dog, but I know the truth. You are not a cute little dog. You are, in fact, an ancient demon dude with a really weird voice. All right, here we go. By the way, I looked it up, and guess who the fuck voices Barbus? That's right. Mercer Frey, everybody! Who's- oh, ah, He's invincible! Fuck me! Ilya, you didn't see shit. Everyone's come up here to watch now. <laughs> like he's doing it again. This fucking guy. <laughs> oh shit, what just happened? Oh god, what the fuck is going on over there, dude? What the fuck is going on over there? There's some walking armor! Uh... Get him, Dre! Get him, Dre! There's some weird shit going over there. It's it's armor. There's a weird hat moving around, dude. Holy shit, what's going on in here? Oh god, sorry, Barbus. Look, it's just a moving hat. It's like reverse Rayman or something. Right? Or no, it's Rayman without a torso. Jesus, am I hitting it? Is this person like cloaked or what what the fuck's going on here, man? <laughs> <laughs> what wretch am I sort of fighting here? Oh. Jesus, behold, the Forsworn Briar Heart. A beast most foul. Yes, boots and hands, man. Terrifying. Look at this, Ilya. Have you ever seen something so... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Ilya, look at the sky. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, an ebony dagger. Okay, great. A briar heart as well. Good. <laughs> oh, there goes Dre. Hey, look at this thing. Wow, they love Debella? Huh. Are these real? No, these are like rocks and shit. Damn, they're smearing blood all over her. Jeez, nasty. All right. Let's see, snow breeze. I've got your back. Here, Ilya. What do you want me to carry? Take some of this weird shit, like this ebony dagger. Or, how about... Well, she's actually full up on everything, okay. You we knew this would happen, but alas, I'm an ignorant fool. Ooh, liminal bridges. Hmm, we'll take that. Canis Root, Ancestors and the Dunmer. We've read that for sure. I think we even read liminal bridges in Oblivion, right? I think. I think we found it during the Mages Guild or something. Geez, Ilya, I hope you're getting ready to drop some bullshit because there's a lot of amazing shit up in here. Let's see, anything in here? Gold. Do a little bit of healing just as well. Anything hidden around back and behind this? Nah, we're fine. Okay, a grilled chicken breast. The Firmament, which we have absolutely read. Beef stew, wow! Silver emerald necklace, these folks are loaded! Look at all this! Filter of true shot, an iron battle axe of draining, gosh! I've got your back. Okay, Ilya. What do you want me to carry? We need to... We need to sort some shit out here. We're in a real fucking state. Okay, ten weight on that shit. What do you... Oh, God, yeah, she's carrying around like a whole fucking house worth of equipment. Oh, dear lord. Let's get rid of half of this leather, because leather is two units each. You know what? Let's get rid of um, all but ten units. There we are. Oh, what wait. Do you want I should give carry? you some shit now, too. All right. Okay, how about all these? Let's just go through it. There we are. Beautiful. There we are. Look. We're solving all of our problems. Good god. We really should have deposited that leather back. I guess I forgot to take it all off of her when, after I had done the crafting or something. Good you God, that is a lot of leather, Ilya. Okay, good thing leather is cheap as shit, I guess. Follow. There we are. Stamp potion. Beautiful. 
Okay, you know what? I have to take this. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Has to be done. Oh, alright. Anything else up and around here? Little baskets. Basket of spine. Snowberries. Look at this. A shrine to Debella. Behold. So they were just stealing, like, um... These big-ass flowers and shit? From other ones? So there's a whole bunch of shrines of Debella or whatever that are lacking in flowers, right? Okay. <laughs> they... <laughs> right, because... Debella's all about horny shit. They deflowered her, right? Wow, what the fuck? Get a load of that. What are they trying to say here, huh? Let's see. Offer a hundo. What'd I get? Blessing of Debella. What's it do? What's it do? What's it do? What's it do? Speech by 10? Oh my god, that's awful! What a terrible thing! Jeez! Let's turn this back on. Did we loot and loot everything? What is this? Look at this. Yeah, this is like a weird horny shrine. Look, they've got all the candle lighting everywhere. What's going on? Look at this. What's going on? All the snow breeze? This? What is this shape? Was someone trying to fuck this goat? What? <laughs> what the fuck? There's... There's no one even in here! <laughs> What's going on, man? What's going on? This place is bizarre! Oh no, is this part of some, like, quest or radiant quest? And there'll eventually be someone in there? I guess. Oh, wow. That's... That's pretty weird. Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get out of here. Just another day in old Skyrim land, huh? Let's see, let's bring up the map. How close are we to our destination? Karthwaston. Oh, we're quite close, aren't we? Okay. Let's just jump over the mountain zone, right? Surely we can survive this. Oh yeah, look at this. This is fine. We can do this every day, all day. Beautiful. Alright. And then... Down here. Great. And we'll never see our companions again. <laughs> They'll never make it down that. Alright. Anything over here? Where are these juniper berries? Okay. There's a little secret something over there. But we don't have time for it. For we must continue through this very gray looking area. Is it always so gray over here? I think so. I think it is intentionally meant to be very gray. Not all the time. I think there are often clear t days, but so often I remember coming out here and it being, oh shit, are they about to slam and jam me? Hey, what the fuck's up with you all? I got my team here! Oh, I see you. Move along. What are you doing? Taking this man to be interrogated. What has he done? He has knowledge of a cult of Talos. He will tell us what we need to know or he will die. The choice is his. Now get out of my way. Alright, you asked for it. Oh, get my out the train board, motherfucker! Whoa! <laughs> oh shit! Tree! There we go. Great. <laughs> you see him get the fuck out of there? He was like, oh fuck, 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 fuck! Nine divines! <laughs> <laughs> Talo, save me! <laughs> Good god. Alright, here we are. This is, that's how we fucking looked at the opening of the game, huh? Running around with our bindings on throughout all that, jumping around and shit. Alright, let's get ready to line them up. I'm ready to knock this shit out of the park again. If I can. I don't know, do you think we can make it over this fucking lip? Here goes nothing, baby! <laughs> yes! Oh, yes! Eat shit! Sorry, Dre! <laughs> Look at him go! Wow, she goes forever! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Never to be seen again. That was pretty cool, huh, Ilya? I hope that bastard didn't have any loot on him. Oh, look. Hey. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what happened? 
I killed him, dude! It was me! <laughs> hey, come back! Hang on! Hang on, I'll chop him. Yeah, free prisoner. Yeah, there we go. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, hey, I tell them to head whoa, to whoa, 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 whoa. whoa! Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. <laughs> Fight or die. You're well. with the Stormcloaks, though. Who's <laughs> Ruda? <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is my bridge now, motherfucker! <laughs> All right, <laughs> great. <laughs> Oh man, I love this fucking game. Ooh, nine years old and it still holds the fuck up, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> fuck, what an amazing and perfect bridge for screaming at people on. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, I'm gonna be so sad if there is not some... Even if we don't have, right, and I would hope that we don't have dragon shouts in... Elder Scrolls 6. But they need to add in some sort of a new spell or whatever that has a similar effect to the Fusroda, right? I don't care if it's like a rank 100 alteration or whatever. I need to be able to send people flying. It's so good. It has become an important part of the Elder Scrolls ever since uh, fucking ragdolling has been at. Oh, what the fuck's going on here? Hey, what's I want this? Swords out of my mind. Watch your tongue, native. We'll leave when we're sure there's no Forsworn here. Oh, and when would that be, I wonder? When I sell my land to the Silverbloods? The Silverbloods have made you a very generous offer for this pile of dirt. I suggest you take it. Damn, dude, what the I'm fuck? I'm Thatcher's right-hand man. I help supervise Fuck the those mines. fucking guys, huh? If the Forsworn aren't attacking my town, the Nords are trying to force me off it. Damn, what the fuck? Do you want me to, like, scream them off of a bridge, dude? I'm one of the few native sons of the Reach that owns land. Doesn't make me very popular. Trouble with the mine? Robbery is what it is. The Silverbloods are trying to muscle in on my land. <laughs> They're so on the nose with Silverbloods. And suddenly all these sellswords show up to help. They won't let anyone work until I sell it off. What if I convince them to leave? Or what if I kill them? <laughs> what if I convince them to leave? Wink. You can try, but I'd keep your sword arm ready if things get ugly. Dude, he wants me to fuck him up. Yeah, I'll fuck him up. I'll fuck. Oh shit, Atar. <gasps> Atar Maskin. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it, that doesn't mean anything if you never played uh, or watched Oblivion Land. <laughs> I can't help it now. It's like, uh, it's the ah, uh, yes effect. <laughs> Are you in charge here? My family has owned Carthwaston for generations. Carthwaston? Rare for anyone in the Reach that isn't a Nord. Not that it does me any good. Nords think I'm working for the Forsworn. Forsworn think I'm working for the Nords. What the fuck? I'm gonna call it Carthwaston no matter what. I don't give a shit, dude. I'm gonna help you, but I'm gonna keep calling it the wrong way. Or saying it the wrong way. Who are the Silverbloods? A family of thieves. Running their corrupt empire from Markarth. The Silverblood family own half the Reach, and they won't stop until they own all of it. All right, all right. Look at this fucking balding-ass Wolverine, huh? Good day. What a strange name as well. Is that because he's a Reachman? That he has such a unique naming convention? That must be it. All right. Neat. What else is around here? There's some sort of weird-ass shrine over there. Is there an inn in this place? Should I do some snoozing and losing real soon? Maybe. Is there a vendor shop? Edmund's house. What's this? Miner's barracks. What about this? Is this a smithy or something? It looks like a smithy. Carthwaston Hall. Hmm. Not much here to look at, I guess. Okay. Let's see. If oh, the <laughs> they have the bed right here. The Nords are trying to force me off it. Damn, dude. I know. I'm, I'm about to force them in a major way, huh? Did you see my work over at that bridge? I'm fucking... I'm a maniac, dude. <laughs> I've lost my fucking mind. Alright. Is there anything else around here? Is that a smoke plume from a house? Or just fog? I think it's just some foggy mist. Okay. Fair enough. 
never. They've shut us down forever, Enman. The Divines have abandoned us. Let's turn our lights on. Don't have anything to say to you, stranger. The good mine is closed, and the other mine has no ore. Gods have cursed me. Damn, I'm sorry, Belshamok. Yes? What about you, Enman? Well, hey, that's not something you see every day. What, my little magic light? You're not from here. We don't need to be talking. Yeah. Yes? I liked it better when he was impressed by my magic light. All right. Well, holy butts. I suppose when next we come back, we will take care of these dickheads, right? I'm ready to scream them off the fucking side of the world, dude. Holy shit, what an amazing bridge that we've encountered. All right. How, what time of day is it? Yeah, we've still got time before we even get sleepy, right? Hopefully we uh, can get a room here, though, or something. Jeez. What the fuck? All right. Well, when next we come back, we're heading into the mines. We're going to look around town, all that good shit. Maybe by the time we're done, they'll let us sleep in a bed, or there'll be a bed inside of the mine so we can get some interior sleeping. Who knows? But one thing, there is one thing that I do know for certain, and that is that I'm about to ask you how about a little bit of reading. If you'd like to stick around, we're about to do a little bit of fucking reading. What are we reading today? Let's see. Let me consult my, my texts. How about... The Herbalist's Guide to Skyrim. We just had a run-in with a bunch of herbalism-related materials, right? There we are. Boom. Herbalist's Guide to Skyrim. By Agnita Thalia. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> the... <laughs> <laughs> Those avoiding this northern province due to claims of barbarism or concerns over climate are doing themselves a disservice, in fact. Or, in fact, Skyrim has a wealth of materials that every alchemist would do well to avail himself of. I've traveled extensively through this land, and here are but a few of my findings. Bleeding Crown the caps of these mushrooms do indeed appear smeared with blood, though it is often hard to see that, see in the dark, damp places in which they grow. Not uncommonly found in Skyrim, their abundance is countered by the difficulty in acquiring them. As any experienced herbalist knows, the darkest of caves often conceal far more than mere mushrooms. Nonetheless, these potent fungi, when combined with certain powdered antlers, produce a mixture, rendering one quite susceptible to poison. Their usefulness is also quite apparent when mixed with lavender, creating a substance highly resistant to magic. Death Bell Folklore, arounds, folklore, ab folklore abounds about this flower found in the swamps of Hjalmarch. Some stories claim it grows where unfortunate deaths have taken place. Others insist it grows first, and then lures unsuspecting people and animals to their doom. I have found no direct evidence to support these, the these stories. Indeed, I found the flowers difficult to locate at all. While it is most well known for its use in poisons, uh, it would be remiss to overlook that the blooms of the death bell are effective in mixtures for boosting one's alchemy skill. Oh, a little bugulon. Dragonfly. A surprising number of insects survive in Skyrim's climate, many thriving in the lower southern areas of the province. Dragonflies can be found in a great many places, and while catching them can be a daunting prospect, the reward is well worth the effort. It was beyond the scope of my research to determine whether the orange and blue dragonflies are fully different breeds or merely simple color variations, but through experimentation, I found that the orange dragonfly, when combined with very hardy barnacles found along the coast, transfers some of their flighty nature, giving the herbalist some very nimble fingers. A hag raven claw. Damn, how are you going to get all these? The claws of a hag raven are best obtained in shops. It is inadvisable to suggest one collects them oneself. These creatures have traded in their humanity for access to powerful magics, 
and the transformations they undergo infuse their entire beings with some element of that power. Ingesting the powdered claws makes one more resistant to magic, but an especially curious property of the claws is revealed when mixed with snowberries, often found in Skyrim's higher elevations. I found myself capable of comprehending enchantments I had believed mystifying after ingesting the mixture, and have passed this knowledge on to several court wizards, who were grateful for the knowledge. That almost makes it sound like a psychedelic, huh? Juniper berries? Jazzbay grapes. There was a time when it would be considered treason to pick one of these grapes without express permission from the Emperor himself. It is my understanding that although growers in Skyrim were successful in improving the fruit's survivability, it came at the cost of flavor. No longer is it quite the prize it once was, and yet, growing amidst the volcanic tundra of Eastmarch, it is still- yeah, volcanic tundra, for realsies, okay. It is still immensely useful for concocting potions. Mages value it highly, as it can be combined with simple garlic to enhance the regeneration of magicka. While no longer against the law, picking these grapes in large amounts is best kept to oneself. Luna Moth Wing As with the dragonflies, I was taken aback by the number of butterflies, moths, and other insects that managed to thrive in Skyrim. The Luna Moth is especially beautiful. Its thin, almost ephemeral wings seem too delicate to hoist anything into the air, giving them an almost magical appearance. Indeed, that sense extends to the properties they exhibit when crushed and distilled, an action I admit was difficult to perform at first, no matter my resolve to discover all that Skyrim has to offer. These creatures are simply that beautiful. While they can be used for creating poisons that damage magicka, I feel that would be a waste of their potential. Do not be alarmed. When the wings are broken down almost completely, they appear to almost disappear under your pestle. That very quality makes the wings quite effective in potions of invisibility. Tundra Cotton Not all Nords are savages wrapped in animal skins, howling at the moons. There are a wide variety of fabrics worn throughout the land. Thanks in no small part to the stubborn tundra cotton plant. It soaks up what rain it can in the plains west of Whiterun, and blooms frequently. While it does not exhibit any of the more striking alchemical properties, it is a staple in potions, for not only fortifying magicka, but for resisting spells as well. I wonder if that quality is what allows it to have adapted so well to this climate. Nightshade. The name and shape of this plant are known to all, long understood to be one of the more potent components in many poisons. The average Nord keeps his distance from the bright purple flowers nestled among dark leaves. It is exceedingly effective as a pure poison, but can also be combined with other compounds to stiffen joints as well. It is thus favored amongst those who wish to disable their opponents in battle, and can be found coating the blades of many of the more unsavory characters in Skyrim. Oh, and that's the end. Yeah. Though surprisingly, I thought it would it would be about flora that, and I guess other weird bits and bobs, that you can only find in Skyrim, right? But it also covers ones that we've seen in past games, like Nightshade or that other one. <laughs> what was the other one? Jazbay? No. Were Jasper grapes in in um, Cyrodiil? I don't think so. There were grapes, but I don't think they were classified as Jasper grapes. Certainly, not Nightshade and I think Deathbell were there. Bleeding Crown, I think, is unique to Skyrim, right? I think so. But yeah, would have been cool if there were more more of them covered that were unique. But that said, I don't know if any of those were covered in any other books, right? So, yeah. Take it or leave it. Anyway, when next we come back, we'll continue looking around Karthwastin, as it is called. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>